The ball's been an incredibly challenging piece of engineering for all of us. Um, you can imagine trying to design a laptop that gets kicked by the world's most athletic men and women every day. I'm Ian Savage from Gilbert Rugby, R&D engineer uh, covering rugby balls and netballs. We've been working with Sportsball for four years to produce the world's most revolutionary rugby ball. Ultimately, the ball's the most important thing on the pitch. So the partnership uh, between us is aiming to build a smart ball, Sportsball, bring a lot of uh, energy and a lot of knowledge into that area. And it's something that we wouldn't be able to have made a start on had we not had the introduction to them. Before, we'd have been relying on uh, physical uh, properties of the ball and, and looking at how they perform in different conditions. This kicking robot's been designed to kick the ball with accuracy and precision. We can kick the ball time after time in the same way. So obviously Gilbert's such a massive part of the game of rugby and, and central to that is, is the involvement of the ball within the matches. So, you know, being able to link him with, with a company like Sportable and provide innovation that's at a truly different level is, is something that, uh, that's really exciting. But one of the main concerns about developing any new product is making sure that you've got something that's fit for purpose. You know, that's why we're here doing testing on rotational stability, um, using robotic uh, kicking tools to, to, to test how the ball performs off the boot, and then things like compression testing to, to ensure that we're consistent on every aspect of the ball development. You know, the technology will be within the ball, but the aim will be to make sure that it doesn't affect how the ball performs. I think the smart ball is going to allow players to keep track of their true performance. Um, and from a team's perspective, you know, they're going to be looking at it at the ability of being able to look at players and how consistent they are, whether elements of their training can improve what their output is on match days and all the way through then down to what the players see um, after training sessions to make sure that they're on the right track. So I think it's, it's a really exciting time. It's now the right time to be pushing that forward and, and getting it used in, in matches. So there's actually many exciting attributes to the, to the world's first smart rugby ball. You know, those things that, that uh, fans are really going to be engaged with within the stadium. You can take everything from uh, those automated processes that we can bring into the game, things like forward passes, is it straight at, at the line out, how fast the player's passing the ball, or how accurate his kick is, or how fast the ball's rotating. You know, they're going to be able to happen on a, on a much faster, almost instantaneous basis. Gilbert as a group of companies uh, were also uh, heavily involved in netball uh, and hockey and cricket. And, you know, as the technology continues to improve, there's, there's no reason why it couldn't potentially to have, have that involved across all the different sports.